And now if I draw your attention back to the site window in Dreamweaver, let's select Dreamweaver on our taskbar, you'll notice that we now have in our site window the Layers HTML page that Dreamweaver, or rather Fireworks, exported for us. And if I double click that file and open it, well, you'll notice what we have now when I select each slice, they're not table cells, they're actually what are called layers. And layers are denoted by this bounding box with selection points in Dreamweaver. We can use these layers now to actually freely across the screen, you'll notice, precisely position objects, and notice we can even overlap these objects to exactly where we want them to go on the screen. We can even use our arrow keys to slightly nudge the object if we choose to. Bottom line, if you choose layers, you have a lot more flexibility with the layout of your web page. The one thing, though, to be aware of when you use layers is that only the 4.0 and later browsers will support layers. And Internet Explorer and Netscape, I'm sure it's no surprise to you, do actually have some slight differences in the way they handle layers. So keep this in mind if you do choose to use the layers option, but if you do want to use it, it's a great way to have the ultimate in control over laying out your pages.